has the landscape of professional fishing changed forever? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and thank you. I'm humbled by all the comments, the members, the subscribers. I really do appreciate all of you. I respect your opinion and I appreciate it. So thank you for being a subscriber. But if you're not one in one of those 74, 75% of the people who watch this channel and aren't subscribers, you should be. Click that button, become part of the team, help me out, and I appreciate you. Oh, how the industry has changed over the last several years. After the break of Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour, we've had an unbelievable amount of change in the industry. And after COVID, where we had everybody fishing and viewership up, we've now gotten back into a place where it's almost a little stale and old of, of what is happening right now. There are many people that will tell you the viewership is up. Not from what I can tell. When I do my research and look up the Fox Sports 1 and other television stations, I can tell you that I don't see viewership up at all. And it's one of the issues of what's happening in this community right now. And I question if we can ever get back to the glory days. I think there are several reasons why we have we have oversaturated our community with almost too much fishing and we've oversaturated it with too much drama. There was a time where you would watch Saturday Outdoors on ESPN and watch the Bassmasters and Jose Wahebe and all those great anglers that had television shows, Flip Pallet, all those great shows, and we only got a small dose of fishing every week. This is not the case anymore. These days there's a lot of fishing. If you really enjoy and love bass fishing and watch it constantly, you have enough at all times to watch almost any day of the week. These days we used to go from 30 to 60 minutes of bass fishing tournaments to now 30, 40, 50 hours of it. And when you take all those hours and condense it into a 60 minute show, it's a lot more interactive and a lot more exciting. But when a normal person or a new angler watches a bass fishing tournament and watches what goes on throughout an eight hour day and there isn't constant catching or there's drama or whatever it is, they are not enticed to continue to watch because they get bored. And our youth anglers are bored with a lot of tournament fishing or a lot of things that are going on. They're in a world where 15 to 20 seconds is a long time. I can only tell you from my experiences. I can make a short that is 45 seconds and I might get 500 views. I can do a short that is 25 seconds and I might get a thousand views. I can make a short that's 14 to 16 seconds, which is the sweet spot, and get 10,000 views. Our youth and, our, and ourselves are clicking out of things faster than ever. And it's one of the problems that we have within our industry right now. And if we're going to really talk about all the things that goes on within the industry, the drama is what people want. As much as people dislike it, whatever it is, people want to see drama. You want to see the negative things. Accustomed to this new way of life through the things that we've watched in the past to now the things that we see and hear every day. There's a reason why you watch the news and you don't see a lot of good news. It's always the negative stuff. It's what draws attention. Drama draws attention in this industry. And while you can do good things and good topics, they don't get the same amount of response that that bickering angler or someone else doing something that you despise. And it's part of what is a slight problem of what's wrong right now in the industry. One of the other things that we've seen wrong in the industry over the last few years is technology. Technology has pushed many veteran anglers outside of the box of being competitive. But let's be real, it is their issue. They can dislike forward-facing sonar, they can like forward-facing sonar. It is a tool that allows anglers to catch fish. And when your job is to catch fish, Maybe you should know how to do it 
all the way through it. Anglers who don't use forward facing and so on are, are trying to catch fish the traditional way are not succeeding at the level that scopers are. So why aren't they using it? And why is there this stigma behind technology? You've, we've noticed a crop of rookies come in year after year after year that are better balanced, better anglers, and catch more fish because they know their tool and they use technology to help them get better. I wouldn't try to go do a graphic and draw it up when I can use Photoshop or Illustrator. It just doesn't make sense. And I dislike forward-facing sonar, but as an angler, if you have an issue with it and you're not using it, you're just not competitive. And sometimes we all need to learn to adjust and learn from our mistakes. And mistakes are okay, but acknowledging them and moving forward is how you get through life because we're not all correct at all times. You're going to be wrong. I am going to be wrong. The sooner that we acknowledge those issues, the better off we're going to be and the better we'll be as human beings and in our jobs, especially if you're a bass fisherman. And I think that one of the industries, one of the problems with the landscape of professional fishing is that we just don't like change. As anglers, we're stuck doing certain things a certain way. I am guilty of it. I can go to the frog pond and I can tell you, I will have a, a Cinco on and I'll have a frog on. I don't try new things because I'm set in that goal and I wanna catch fish. And when change happens, there's a lot of people that dislike the change. Rightfully so, we all don't want to change. We're set and good at what's there. You can't fix what's not broken. Change isn't the worst thing in most situations. I think the landscape of fishing has changed so much because we have year after year new rule changes throughout all the organizations. We have technology issues, we have drama, we have lots of crazy stuff that happens. And we need to adapt to the changes. We need to learn from them. We need to respect them. And we need to quit bitching about them. And while I am a content creator, this platform is one of the problems that happens. There are a lot of people that get on here. I'm not saying anyone in particular. I have nobody in mind. But they get on here, stir shit, bitch, and their whole job is to get you to click on their video. They get the two cents. And the problem that I have with a lot of these anglers and content creators is they don't tell the truth. And it's quick and easy to research those topics and find out if a person is really being honest. And there's a lot of anglers that have humongous followings and also do YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. And they spew a narrative that is not remotely true. You realize that some of these guys are only doing it to stir up more controversy. And I think that's another issue that the community and the hobby has. Because I believe this isn't a sport right now. I'm not trying to take anything away from any professional angler or anyone. I think this is a hobby. I think it's a rich man's hobby right now. I think that there's too much money. It costs too much money to do this. And there's the payouts aren't enough. And there's too many people that aren't succeeding or they only live off their sponsors. And at this point in time, when I look at sponsors who are paying anglers who don't do anything but complain and bitch, I don't know why you're doing it. It makes no sense. If someone's knocking a company or someone else, me as a fan, I'm not buying their product because that narrative is about themselves not about what's going on in the, the industry. And we have to keep an open mind on what we see and do as content creators and as anglers, as people who are out in the public. But there's, like I said, there are way too many people that just want you to click on their stuff and it's gonna be a lie. And here's the one thing I would say, if someone's pushing a narrative that is just, just doesn't seem right, and that's all they talk about and they've created all sorts of drama because of it there's probably a good shot that that person is only creating that narrative to benefit themselves 
and I'm not talking about forward-facing sonar. And again, it's okay to be wrong, but admit that you're wrong and move on. And really, apologize, because I've apologized to many people here recently. I apologize to the people at MPFL several times in videos. I do think I have my opinions. I, I really do have my opinions. I've seen how this industry works over 25 years. Just because I'm not inside the door doesn't mean someone isn't talking to me through that door, that screen door, and I can hear everything they say. And to wrap up, I'm not sure we can change where this industry and hobby is going. I think that there's always something changing nonstop. And the problem with that is, is there's people that don't like it. And we're not, we don't want change. But this is what we have to deal with. And as a community and as a hobby, we either need to say, we need to take a step back and look at it from a different perspective, or we need to just go, okay, I'm going to live with this and just stop complaining. As much as we don't like the drama and all that other stuff, as fans and as someone who watches all the other stuff, we all complain about it. And we have to be better as people and as human beings. And we have to respect each other too. Because I think one of the other problems that I have in the industry right now is there's a lack of respect amongst each other and amongst ourselves as YouTube fans, as anglers. There was a time when we would talk about all we could and brag, tell lies about how big that bass was. While we still do that, it's not to the level that it used to be. And we need to, because of technology and social media, everyone has this feeling that we need to say whatever we feel is on our mind on YouTube. And that includes me. So what do you think? Has the landscape changed? Can we get back to where, where it's where we appreciate it and that it gets back to the good old days, the glory days? I don't know. I don't think so. But comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will talk to you very, very soon. I'll probably bleep that out. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers and thank you.